This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. KHOU.com reports from Brazos County. Five family members, including two children, were killed Monday night when their single-engine aircraft crashed in Brazos County. Authorities said the family was traveling in a small six-seater Piper plane from Atlanta, Georgia, made a stop in Jackson, Mississippi, and was heading to Waco, Texas, when it ran into a patch of bad weather around 10 p.m. DPS officials said the pilot contacted the tower in Fort Worth and was instructed on how to avoid the rough weather, but the plane flew in the opposite direction instead. Debris scattered for more than a mile suggests the plane started breaking apart in midair before it hit the ground. The victims are identified as David Shane Butler of Mount Calm, Texas, his brother Michael D. Butler, Michael's wife Kelly Butler, and their two children, Brooke, 15, and Braylon, 2, all of Stockbridge, Georgia. The accident is under investigation. From WFAA.com in Koppel, Texas, a two-vehicle crash led to quite a surprise for many drivers on Beltline Road. Off Interstate 635 this afternoon in Koppel, a man dressed in a Santa Claus costume was seen directing traffic near a truck with flames bursting out of its hood. The accident led to traffic backup as the truck on fire blocked two lanes of traffic. The Koppel and Irving Fire Departments responded to the scene. There was no injuries, and it's not known if the Santa was involved in the accident. The Associated Press reports a Houston man says he wants to clear his own conscience and pay a $1 parking ticket he got 58 years ago, even though the city's traffic violation records have been purged. Dale Crawford sent a letter to city officials after finding the ticket among some keepsakes. He says it's a debt that he wants to pay, though it's a small, almost unnoticeable amount. Crawford received the ticket February 3, 1953, the day he was inducted into the Army. He left his 1946 Nash at a parking meter at the induction station. When his dad was late retrieving the car, it had been ticketed. Houston Mayor Anise Parker says she'll personally accept Crawford's payment and thank him for setting an example for others who owe debts to the city. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.